up, guys? Passing by a homeless guy, it looks like, or a drunk guy, one or the other. Anyway, we're at Fook Off. Fook Off Plus in Kenai. Hanging out. Gonna go inside, show you guys a couple things. Gonna gonna do a little tour of a uh, little tour of Kanai, if you will. You guys saw at the beginning of this video. You guys saw Isazaki Mall area. This is actually where the new Yakuza game, Yakuza Seven: Like a Dragon, actually takes place in this area. Little tidbit of knowledge for you. Kind of cool. Walked back to the back of the store. People are in my way. They're uh, they're browsing. It's okay. They got a tiny section in this store. It's a very tiny retro section. It's kind of junky, small, old games that nobody plays anymore. But it's all relatively cheap. Looks like we got a GBA Shining Soul, 980 yen. That's less than ten dollars. That's probably about eight seventy-five to nine dollars. Looks like uh, some some kind of hue card game for less than five bucks, five hundred and ten yen. You guys see Baka on my hand because uh, I drew Baka on my hand. Look at that, Mario Brothers and some other game that was too fast for me to look at. I believe they were five hundred yen a piece. Yeah, pretty cool. Looks like uh, Lord of the Elemental. 510 yen, I believe. Was that 980? It might have been 980. I don't know. Anyway, stopping, looking, seeing what they got. Ooh, they got a Rockman 7. Ooh, but that boy's dirty. 980 yen. Looks like it's covered in mold, though, so we're going to put that back. Let's see what else we got up in here. Ooh, Mega Man X3. 980 yen. That is a really good buy. That's uh, less than 10 bucks for X3. Oh, same for X2. Man, if anybody's a collector, hit me up. I'll take care of you. Get you all the... Look at that! X as well! This store literally had X, X2, and X3. And a copy of Drachhein. If you guys don't know about Drachhein, it was a very cool little RPG, kind of... Kind of mystical RPG for the old Super Nintendo. Kingdom Hearts, Chain of Memories on the Game Boy Advance, 510 yen. Pretty good deal there. I'd, I'd buy that. If I had a Game Boy Advance and I could read Japanese, man, I would be in trouble. Anyway, just kind of sorting through, seeing what kind of games they've got here. Looks like they got a bunch. Just kind of doing the shuffle, you know what I'm saying? Looks like they had a Final Fantasy... is that 4? Yeah, Final Fantasy 4? I don't know how much it was, I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, not too bad of a deal. Let's see what they got down here at the very bottom. I got some boxed games here. Let me move the GoPro up and down. Looks like a Dragon's Quest 6, looks like. Ooh, they got a Final Fight in the box. 1437. That's probably like 12 or 13 bucks for a Final Fight in the box. You guys know what kind of a deal that is. You can enjoy that game with or without Japanese speaking abilities. I don't know what that was. Some kind of Mahjong. Just picked it up because there's just literally tits on the front. Samurai Spirits. Really fun fighting game. I don't know if it's good on the Super Nintendo or the Super Famicom, but it was really good on the Neo Geo. Got a Taiko Natatsujin in the box right there. I didn't check and see how much it was. Looks like they got a Ring Fit Adventure as well. Those, uh, those were selling for really good prices there for a while. Looks like some kind of uh, King Kong game, maybe a Godzilla. A couple Famicom games. Oh, look at that, a Yoshi. Original Yoshi, or was it Yoshi's Cookie? I don't remember which one it was, but it was one of the other. Oh, look at this! WrestleMania 2000. You see the T on there? That means this is an American game. Ooh, somebody somebody modded this by cutting. Let me show you guys what it's like. The, uh, the back of the Japanese carts have these indentions, while the American ones do not. So someone actually burned this, it looks like. 980 yen, but yeah. That's uh, that's one way to get around the uh, the region lock on the N64. It's the same hue card game that I picked up. Oh, with Break In. Break In was a uh, it was a pool game on the old uh, the old PC engine. Anyway, looks like we got a couple of GBA games. A little more expensive. Uh, I'm 
looks like maybe a leaf green or a fire red or something. Can't really read Japanese very well, but I believe that's Pokemon leaf green and fire red. Could be wrong. Got a Pokemon Y, Pokemon X, all of them. Sin, Kyuhyaku, Hachiju, in. Nice little, nice little selection of Xbox, even though it's labeled as PlayStation 2. See if they have anything around this corner. Mm, looks like just wires. But we got televisions, we got monitors, we got anything you guys could think of. It's just a little tiny little uh, retro section of this book off. It is five floors tall though, and they do have a lot of other cool stuff upstairs. But nothing game related, so maybe we'll do that another day. As for now, we're going to pop out of here. I'm going to show you guys the uh, cool little little uh, floor guide. kind of tells you everything that's up there. Third floor CD, Blu-rays, DVDs, first floor video games. Fifth floor is actually um, action figures, but we'll see you in a minute. I'm going to take you guys on a trip. Check it out guys, this is a cool little game center right in the middle of the mall. It's it's kind of uh, kind of run of the mill whenever you first come in. Very run of the mill, you got a couple of UFO catchers, nothing too special, but it's always cool to go into game centers. I do love game centers. Uh, this one's got a bunch of cool games. It also has a bunch of uh, has a bunch of rhythm games. You can see the locals tap tap tapping away. It's got one of my favorite rhythm games right there to the right called Gita Dora. It's basically uh, Guitar Freaks or Guitar Hero, but Japanese, and the notes scroll up instead of down. So that's really fun and it's super challenging for me because I was an expert player of uh, Guitar Hero. And now I have to play on easy, because I have no idea what I'm doing whenever the notes change direction. Going up to the third floor, though, this is where things get a little interesting in this place. Uh, not only does it get interesting, it gets hard to breathe, because there's people smoking cigarettes up here like crazy. Ugh, the one thing I do not like about game centers in Japan, but the cool thing is this one has a bunch of retro machines. Got a little Mahjong player machine over there. That's a 19, what is this, 1943. Got some Street Fighter 2 Championship Edition. Can't really complain with that stuff, man. Got a, uh, got an iCade. It's got a bunch of different games on it. Super Shanghai. Into the Mahjong game, if you guys have ever played Mahjong. But really, really cool little tucked away in the middle of Kanai game center so make sure that you guys if you're ever in Kanai go check this place out nice nifty it's right down the street from the book off they got some really cool old school games they got a nice little vending machine up here get you a melon soda get you some Bakari sweat but yeah uh, so we're gonna go back downstairs hopefully we won't get kicked out for uh, filming in here or did we get kicked out you guys will never know Guys, will never know that little baseball game to our left, actually, like right there in front of us, has used panties. That's what it looks like in there. But anyway, we're back out on the streets of Kanai. I really appreciate you guys watching the video. As always, make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, all that cool stuff, man. Hey, there's the book off that we were at earlier. Shows you just how close that game center is. But I really, really appreciate you guys. Thank you for coming through, watching, hanging out, checking out Japan with me, because uh, it's, uh, it's a cool place, man. Pretty happy to be here. Really enjoy it. Until next time, we'll see you later.